Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Adibah Anis Binti Zahrin, student from College Pengajian Islam Johor. Today, I will be talking story about Prophet Lut alaihi salam. Prophet Lut was the nephew of Abraham whose father was Haran bin Tara. Prophet Lut was sent as an apostle to a people living throughout the North Heath, the Dead Sea. The capital of Sodom is located in the North Basin. Almost all of these people adapt to upside lifestyle which involves having some sex relationships with men and women by living women. This act is a gross misdemeanor. Prophet Luz called for them to stop doing this and respond to the call of God. But they ignore it and even think it. Eventually, the people of Prophet Luz were destroyed by a tribal and tribal disaster. He believed in Abraham and received guidance through his medium, and Allah sent him to preach to the people of Sodom, which was then a village in Jordan. Historians say that the people of Prophet Lutz, as were well, the great people who lived during the time of Abraham, they lived in a village called Sodom. The city was filled with evil. Its residents were light, robots and killed travelers. And other common evil among them was that men had sex with men instead of with women. This unnatural act later became known as Sodom. It was practiced openly and, and unshamely. It was at the height of death screamers and saints that Allah revealed to Prophet Lut, which be upon him, that he should summon the people to give up their idiots and behavior. But they were so deeply sunk in their immoral habits that they were deaf to Lut's preaching. Prophet Lut has called on his people to worship Allah, not only for him and forbade them from doing homosexual acts as God had said about them. But none of them wanted to accept the claim and refused to believe it. They do not want to stop their deviation and misunderstanding. And Allah says in Surah Al-Namlu in Ayah 56. <laughs> فما كان جواب قومه إلا أن قالوا أخرجوا آل لوط من قريتكم إنهم أناس يتطهرون. But the answer of his pupil was not accepted. They said, "Expel the family of Lut from your city." Indeed, they are people who keep themselves pure. The doings of Lut's pupil sadness is hurt. Their unwholesome reputation spread through, throughout the land while he struggled against them. As the years passed, he persisted in his mission but do not avail. No one responded to his call and believed except for the members of his family and even in his household. Not all the members believe it. His wife prefers in Fides land goes with her pupil and helps her pupil reduce her. And Allah says in Surah at tahrim 10. ضرب الله مثلا للذين كفروا امرأة نوح وامرأة لوط كانتا تحت عبدين من عبادنا صالحين فخانتاهما فخانتاهما فلم يغنيا عنهما من الله شيئا وقيل ادخلا النار مع الداخلين 
Allah presents an example of those who disbelieve the wife of Noah and the wife of Lut. There were under two of our religious servants, but betrayed them. So those prophets did not evil them from Allah at all. And it was said, Enter the fire with those who enter. Overwhelmed with his fire, we prayed to Allah to grant him victory and destroy the crown. Therefore, the angels left Abraham, which be upon him, and headed for Sodom, the town of Lut, which be upon him. There reached the walls of the town in the afternoon. The first person who caught sight of them was Lut's daughter, who was sitting beside the, the river, filling her child with water to her family. And the angel says, Daughter, they are placed to rest? And she replied, Yes, there is a place for you. But she reminded, she knew that if the evil men in her town saw them, they would try to harm the strangers. And she replied them, But stay here and do not enter until I inform my father and return. And she then left her job beside the river and ran quickly to inform her father. Then she looked at his father and said, Oh father, there are three young and attractive men at the town gate. I have never seen such handsome face before. The prophet got worried and he ran to the town gate. The prophet did not recognize that there were angels as her true there were travelers passing by. Luke said, where did you come from and where are you going? But they did not answer his question. Instead, they asked if they could stay at his house. Lud was in a dilemma now. He wanted to tell their strangers not to stay because of the evil people in the city without offending them. At the same time, he wanted to extend the hospitality charm to the gods. He tired several times to convince them, but they insisted on staying in the city. At last, he told them to wait outside the town gate the night so that no one who would see them. When it became dark, they went to the gates and requested the strangers to his home. As the prophet has planned, no one saw them. When they reached his house, the prophet's wife saw them, and she slipped out of the house quietly. She ran to her pupil and informed them about the handsome strangers at her house. The news of the strangers spread like white fire, everyone rushed to Lut's house to see the handsome strangers. Lut was surprised when he saw the pupil come towards his house. He wondered how they could the news of the strangers. And when he noticed that his wife was missing, he realized that it was she who informed the pupil. The prophet was very sad that she cheated. They grew impatient by the minute and began breaking down his door. Feeling irritated, Luke called out to his people in Surah Hud in Ayah 78. <laughs> فاتقوا الله ولا تخزون في ضيفي 
Lord says, O oh my people, these are my daughters, they are pure for you. So fear Allah and do not discourage me concerning my kids. Is there not among you a man reason? They said, You have already known that we have none concerning your daughter and claim, and indeed you know what we want. And three men then spoke up, O oh Lord, indeed we are angel of your Lord. And Jibril then stepped out of Lut's house and struck the man causing all men to lose their eyesight. They fled from the pro they fled from the prophet's house, tried fire. They abused the prophets and ran to their homes. The angels warned the prophet Lut Bishop upon him to leave his house before sunrise talking with him or his family except his wife. Allah had discreet that the city of Sodom shall perish and a quake broke the town. It was as if a mighty power had lifted the entire city and flung in down in one jolt a storm of stoneless rain on the city. Everyone and everything was destroyed, including Lord's wife. And Allah seeks in Surah Al Hij, Ayah 73 and 74. Billahi min al Shaitan al Rajim. فأخذتهم الصيحة مشرقين فجعلنا عليها سافلها وأمطرنا عليهم حجارة من سجيل. So the Shri says it them at sunrise, and we met the highest part of the city, its lowest, and rained upon them stone of heart's glee. <laughs> 